this is where you can create a promotion to boost your sales velocity, right? This is where you can do giveaways. So let's just set one up. I click on the French press again. I'll just run you through set, uh, setting up a promotion. So we first start in the details tab. And as you see, a number of information has already been pulled in, like the title, the description, product group, the ASIN, um, your email address that's used to log into your account, etc. So let's go over the other fields. In this field, you fill in a short promotional description. Now, this is the information you use uh, that we use when we choose to promote your product in our, uh, our email list or like, uh, somewhere else on social media. So you want to be short, and oh, I'll just I'll copy this, but <laughs> short and actionable. Let's scroll down. So here you want to have your support email. This doesn't have to be the email you use to log into your account, but it defaults to that. So if you have a different support email, replace this email that you see here with your support email. You can fill in the start date, the end date. So it's set it the December. Let's set it the 12th. Here you see the original price. So this is pulled in Amazon, but you want to discount it. And before you can even create a promotion, you will need to create vouchers in your Seller Central. Now, about this, Amazon removed the possibility to create money off coupons. So right now, it's only possible to create a percentage off discount. So you have to set up the percentage here, and then the discount is, now let's say I want to give a 70% discount. Automatically, the price changes to see the 449. This product is sold uh, through FBA, so the final price will be 449. And to the right, we see what your promotion is actually going to look like on our deal site, which is VPON, which I will show you uh, in a bit. So you can see a title, big image, the price fulfilled by Amazon, uh, all the stuff that we just went over. Now, one thing you can add is your link. If I click here, you'll see now the, uh, the shopper can open it on Amazon. But it's something we don't recommend because this can hurt your conversion rate. You only want the link to be available to people that are actually requesting the deal and then are approved by you. So I recommend you leave this unchecked. You also need to check this box. I understand about protecting my inventory. We don't have time to go over that in this webinar, but there's this whole PDF that if you're interested in that, I recommend you guys uh, check out. Then we move to adding the vouchers. So there's two ways of doing that. You can either click on add vouchers here, or you can scroll up and select vouchers. Now, there are two types of vouchers you can create, multiple one-time use claim codes and single vouchers. And I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend that you create multiple one-time use claim codes. Why is that? Because with a single voucher, what is a single voucher? That's basically one voucher that will be the same for everybody. So there is a risk of that voucher going viral. There are people out there that are just looking for good deals, and when they find a single voucher, they may share it with whoever they know, or they post it on Reddit, and you can run out of inventory in a day. Don't do that. Create multiple one-time use claim codes. I have some vouchers here. And again, don't try them for this product. This is not my product, and these are not real voucher codes. I'm just using them as an example for this webinar. So you add the vouchers here, and then we go to the notes tab. This is the last tab. Here you can just leave short notes up if you're an area. For example, again, we talked about in the beginning, uh, not about shipping, not about you as a seller, or not about the voucher. When you're done, click Save. And here it is. And because we had the start date today, the, the promotion is active immediately.